The two-minute star finder was made as a training aid. So this is pure training. And it's about the great circle. The great circle can best be described as a plane that cuts this earth of ours and passes through the center and of course passes through many other things. Could be you, stars, or anything. But the two minute star finder and the rude star finder is made of great circles. All of these spider web appearance are really great circles. So what this can do for you, and it should not be used in actual practice, but it really describes, and in an emergency, it could be the start off of you going towards an emergency, another ship out at sea, uh, that's quite a distance away, you might be able to start your great circle quickly by the two minute star finder or the rude star finder because my first use of this was with the rude star finder. So here's what the situation is. We want to go from Cape Hatteras which is 35 north 7305 west to the entrance to Gibraltar, which is 3556-0634 west. So that's quite a distance, and we want to travel this distance by possibly using the Great Circle. We also know the rum line distance. Uh, I computed these things, and this is the rum line distance. And this is the course and distance on a computer. So I'm going to do the same thing using the great circles on the rude star finder or the two minute star finder, two minute star finder in this case. And I'm going to get an answer which is unusually correct, but still not um, unusual in that I've used it many times before for radio direction finding and I come out close most of the time, very close. You would be surprised if you used a rude star finder or a two minute to do this. My answer from the two minute star finder was not 069.2 but 070. I can't read that close. And instead of a distance of 3225 great circle, I got 3180. But let me explain to you how I did this. The first thing I did was put the latitude disk on. Now, I put it on for 35 north. So this center is 35 north. The north-south line I put at the reading that we're going to start from as close as I could determine 73 degrees 05. So that's what you see here. 73 degrees 05 as close as I could get it. So that's a starting point. Now what I did was put the plotting disk on, which you can see here, and I used this plotting disk for the second destination. In this case, the entrance to Gibraltar, 35 point, or 35.56 and 06.34 west. So I put the line running from the center down to the reading of 0634, or as close as I could come to it. 
6 degrees 34. Then I run up that and put in the latitude of the destination of 3556 or almost 56. Now if you look at it closely you can see that the great circle running through that red dot is at 70 and the height of it is 37. Now if I subtract that 37 from 90 I get the zenith distance which is the distance to the second destination and that distance is 53. So each degree is equal to 60 nautical miles so by multiplying that by 60 I came up with my 3180 which is very close. My 70 instead of 069.2 and my 3180 instead of 3,225 is very close. Now anyone can do this with the two minute star finder or the rude star finder. Of course this should not be used for uh, actual navigation but to explain what the situation is and how the great circles work uh, it's a fine way of looking at things. So give it a try. Now the rum line was 090 and my reading from the 2 minute star finder was 070. So this means there's a 20 degree towards the pole starting point. 